There have been multiple signs for me of when Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler took over. Like, there's been multiple moves that they've made that made me think, okay, this is the creation of something new. Like, this represents a new era for the Las Vegas Raiders. And I, I honestly feel like, um, if we're being honest, there's probably no better player that that specifically represents that point than Zamir White. Now, you're probably asking me why. You know, they traded for Devontae Adams in the offseason. Clearly, that's a big move uh, and, and showing that this franchise wants to get something done. Totally get it. Yes, that could also be made an argument here. But to me, when they drafted Zamir White, it proved, it proved a couple different things to me. Number one, it proved to me that there's going to be a more cal calculated approach. I mean, especially with what Zamir White did, uh, you know, at Georgia, you know, the four, won a title with them, was able to set the tone. Zeus did some things in college. I, I mean, I know that at the same time, while we look at all these different uh, pieces and while we look at all these different running backs and say, okay, you know, they did this, they did they did this well. They didn't do this well. There was quite a bit that he did well in terms of running the football. Yes, he was coming off an injury history. Uh, did have, but he did. Here's the thing about that. He came back. He came back both times. I think it was torn ACL, and that just shows you the character uh, and what he brings to honestly any football team. Had back-to-back -back 11 touchdown seasons for the Bulldogs. You know, obviously got drafted by the Raiders. And I, I got to be honest. To me, that represented that this is going to be a much more calculated approach uh, in terms of how they operate offensively. I think, you know, over the years we've seen the Raiders, you know, they, they've... They've always had something, whether it was the offensive line, they didn't have a true number one wide receiver, but there was always something that kind of was holding them back a little bit. That changed when Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels both walked into the door. I mean, obviously, uh, we talked about the trade for, or yeah, the trade for Devonte Adams, but I think it extends to also the signing of Chandler Jones. I think it extends to the signing of Bilal Nichols. Um, you know, I think it, it extends to, especially with what they've done on the defensive side of the football, with bringing in corners like Rocky Asen and, and company. Like this entire offseason was was very uh, indicative of all they were willing to do and again guys like Zamir White are, are going to be big, big parts of the Raiders future moving forward and another thing that taught me was that Zamir White uh, you know kind of like I just mentioned he's going to be that guy he's going to be the bell cow I mean this year um, so far through the preseason 20 carries 61 yards has a touchdown as well you know Britton Brown who they also drafted that's another thing they drafted him in the seventh round and I'm just like why are you drafting running backs you have Josh Jacobs you have guys um, that could take over but really it did prove to me that they are looking for any and all options in the backfield like it's not that's the thing is and I think arguably the most important thing it taught me is that this is not just going to be a one running back team. Like This is a team that's going to have four or five running backs strong. They're going to find a way to distribute the ball to everybody. Not just the running backs, not just Devontae Adams, not just Hunter Renfro, but whoever has the hot hand, which is, I, oh, I keep punching my laptop, which I think is the, the key here. You have to be able to get the ball to your playmakers when they're hot. You have to be able to find ways and create ways for your best playmakers to have the football. And even guys that people don't even know about. Like uh, I would venture to say that nobody knows who the backup tight end for the Raiders right now. It's Foster Moreau. But, um, you know, I think he's another guy that's going to benefit from this whole offseason as well. Because you got all these weapons, you got all these running backs, uh, and I think you got an offensive line, like I mentioned the other day, that has got enough pieces to be able to make it happen. So, you know, I, I think there's a lot of different things that you've probably picked up uh, with the Raiders this offseason that showed that this was a new area, but it was the drafting of Zamir White for me that showed that this is a new time. This is a new era for the Las Vegas Raiders, and I think Zamir White represents that. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truly awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms uh make sure you guys give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. but let us know what you guys think about zamir white representing a new era for the las vegas raiders